Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So, I hope you're having a good day. Today, our quote of the day is, disapproval is a very important factor in all progress. There has never really been any progress without it by James Breasted. This quote is very true. When you begin to do something that is greater than yourself, there will always be disapproval of you and your thoughts and actions. This is human nature. We are all different and there will be people who will disapprove of your way. And this gets more profound the higher up the ladder of influence and power you get. And the more chances you take, the more disapproval you will probably get. But is it possible to stay happy and calm even if people disapprove of you? Well, the answer is, of course, yes. First, you must understand that people view qualities in a different light. For example, one leader may be viewed as stubborn, domineering, reckless, and even foolish, while other people may view this same person as decisive, progressive, open to change, and strong. In fact, this is exactly what is going on in my country at the moment. A little less than half of the population view our current Prime Minister as a very negative person, and they go out and demonstrate and rally against him almost every day. On the other hand, a little over 50% of the population love and adore him and think that he is the very best. Uh, they keep voting for him and he keeps winning elections. We all make different impressions on other people, on different people. People interpret behaviors in different ways. No matter what you do, there will be people who will disapprove. And this is something that is very important to understand. You will never have 100% of the voters or the people that like you. It is impossible to avoid disapproval. We are susceptible to disapproval from a very young age and throughout our lives. In fact, we must have some disapproval. Parents who always approve and affirm and praise their children hinder their spiritual growth. The only way to stay happy in spite of disapproval is to accept it as, part of, as a natural part of life. When disapproved, first you should consider whether you should be making any improvements or changes to your line of thought and learn to become a better version of yourself. This is especially true if the disapproval comes from someone close to you who has your best interest in mind. You should consider what they are saying, but you should make the decision from your own internal compass as to whether to change or not. However, even close people may sometimes disapprove of something with, uh, that has to do with you without having your best interest in mind. And they, of course, may not always be right. When you are internally controlled, you follow your internal compass. You, stand, you will stand up for your beliefs and values no matter what other people think. When you have disapproval but believe that your way is right and, and you are not apologetic for your way of thinking, then you are more internally controlled, meaning that you are the master of your mind and more in control of your thoughts and feelings rather than having thoughts and feelings be controlled from outside sources of you. When you are internally, uh, when you are when you are externally controlled, it is a, a sign of low self-esteem. And I recommend that you watch my video on self-esteem if you find yourself taking the blame for everything or thinking that you're not competent enough and being apologetic about everything, even though there is nothing to apologize for. When I gave my uh, TEDx talk, on the ideal diet for humans that was seen by millions of people around the world, I was prepared to have disapproval. I understand that changing food choices is not comfortable and uh, our food choice habits are embedded deep into who we are, even if they are not good or healthy for us. And I knew I would have disapproval even though I know that what I am saying is based on a very large body of research and this is the truth. I went into the comments uh, on my YouTube video, on the TEDx video, and decided to read them as if I was not uh, not me, um, like I was looking outside uh, from a different perspective. And there were people who disapproved of what of what I was saying, and there were others who were fighting uh, for me. But I distanced myself and became an observer instead of coming from a place of involvement. So this. Um, can help anyone handle any type of disapproval when you look at it from a different perspective as if you are not being the one that is rejected but rather 
taking a look from a different perspective. When you are standing up for your beliefs, the walk may not be easy, but in the end, people will come around to the truth. There is a saying that goes, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, and then they fight you, and then you win. Think of what happened to Galileo Galilei. He was condemned by the Roman Catholic Inquisition for his support of the model that the earth uh, and the planets revolve around the sun, meaning that the sun is the center of our um, uh, solar system rather than earth being at the center of it and the other planets evolving around it so he was condemned for for saying that and in the end it, it is the truth they say that all truth path passes through three stages first it is ridiculed second it is violently opposed which is what happened with Galileo and third it is accepted as being self-evident <laughs> If people were always seeking the approval of others, we would have never come as far as a species as we are today. Catch yourself apologizing for something that you know is right and stop doing it. Stop steering away from disapproval at all costs. Rejection is never easy. I have also made a video on rejection, which you may want to watch. Follow what you believe and apologize only if you, you internally verify the mistake. And I will say this again. Apologize only if you internally, inside your, your own beliefs and, and your own belief system, verify your mistake. Maintain internal control and trust yourself if you are following the path of truth. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that this will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life have I encountered the most disapproval? And how did I react? And what can I do differently so that next time I accept disapproval as a natural part of life? Now, if you have not encountered a lot of disapproval in your life, perhaps you are behaving in a way that is too people-pleasing. I've also made a uh, video on people pleasing. You may want to watch that. So maybe you're behaving in a way that is too people pleasing and you haven't had a lot of uh, uh, disapproval. So what you are doing is basically you're leaving out your true self. If this is your situation, then ask yourself a different question. What do I really believe to be true? But instead of following this truth, I am conforming to other, other people's views and uh, other people's points of views. So this is what you want to ask yourself. Now, as usual, I recommend writing these questions in a, uh, in a notebook that is especially prepared for these coaching sessions. And you can look over them and see your answers also now and also in the future and make, and, uh, make the adjustments to your life to live a better and happier life for you. So the affirmation of the day is, I accept myself and my beliefs. I am whole and complete. I accept myself and my beliefs. I am whole and complete. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to transform your life. Thank you very much for joining. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this content, which I upload almost every single day. And also, please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for lots of health information on how to help you improve your health and move you to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. <music>